the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 24, Exodus 16 to 18. Finally, starting the desert school, God provided Israel who complained about the limited circumstance of desert life where food and water were not supplied with water and manna. First point. After Exodus, the Israel nation start desert school. The Israel nation, once entering the desert, entered desert school. This school centered on four prerequisites, which were experiences. First, as slaves, now the length of time the Israelite people lived in Egypt was 430 years. Second, of God's six months miracles in Egypt, so I will stretch out my hand and strike the Egyptians with all the wonders that I will perform among them. After that, he will let you go. Third, of the Passover, then Moses summoned all the elders of Israel and said to them, Go at once and select the animals for your families and slaughter the Passover lamb. And fourth, of crossing the Red Sea, but the Israelites went through the sea on dry ground, with a wall of water on their right and on their left. The reason for this free requisite was because this combined ensured that the students of this new school were completely aware of God's wonders and power. The aim of the desert school was to educate its students on a kingdom of priests. The students, of course, had to take exams here and there to improve their abilities. Second point, humans' limits are God's beginning. The Israel nation who finally left Egypt now arrived in the desert. It was at this point that they ran out of food that they packed in Egypt. They immediately started to complain to Moses. What they did not know was that God had prepared everything for them in the desert. In the desert, God gave them manna from the sky. Third point, the rainbow-colored manna story. Manna was a small and round in shape and had a light texture. It was also food that God provided them with in order to educate them about the Sabbath. God taught the Israel nation through manna about the Sabbath, the sabbatical year, and also the year of Jubilee. God also made the Israel nation pick up only a daily portion for each day. Most importantly, God taught the Israel nation through manna that humans do not live by bread alone. Later on, we see how St. Paul made peace through the teaching of manna. Fourth point, victory in war belongs to God. When battle begins, even the smallest things are decisive factors that decide victors and losers. This is because battles are where people's lives are at stake. For this reason, factors such as timing, location, numbers, weapons, methodology, and even the weather can decide the outcome of a battle. But the most important thing in battle is to win. Whether we win or lose a battle is down to God. There are many records of God winning battles in the Bible. For example, Abraham won the battle against four Assyrian kings with 380 men with the help of God. The Hebrews won against Amalek on their way out from Egypt. This was definitely one 
with the help of God. And when Moses lifted his arms, God made them win. Fifth point, Moses' confession helps his father-in-law open his eyes to faith. Moses tells his father-in-law, Jethro, about all the miracles God performed in order to read the Exodus. In some ways, Moses could have included details on his own effort. However, he left those parts out and only confessed of God's wonders. This opened Jethro's eyes to God. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel the healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app. 